Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a general love tarot reading for all of my Aquariuses who are watching. So if you have Aquarius as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Aquarius, in your reading today, I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is making its way towards you, or this energy may already be in your life currently. Before I do go ahead and begin and get started, Aquarius, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may or may not resonate for you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. But without further ado, Aquarius, first what we're going to begin with are some Moonology Oracle cards, so let's see what themes or energy energies we do have making its way towards you when it comes to love. Can we please receive a couple messages for my Aquariuses? We first have a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. All right, let's see what else we have going on for Aquarius, please, at this time. Take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. My apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but take time to breathe out. One more message, please, for my Aquariuses. A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So Aquarius, with these moonology oracle cards, I like to suggest these energies as an overall general energy, but of course take it how it applies to you and your love life, your love connection. But we have t a time to give rather than take, take time to breathe out, and a new romantic cycle begins. So we have some Virgo energy, Libra energy, I may be wrong, and of course, we'll move forward with the tarot portion, but I do feel like for you, Aquarius, you're single as of now. There could be someone that you have in mind that you recently ended things with, or you want something to curate again moving forward, but I do feel like for your energy, Aquarius, you've been giving. You've been giving while also trying to accumulate your own abundance, and sometimes when we do so much or we look out for other people, we forget about ourselves and it's not until so much has happened to the point where we finally catch up to those feelings and we process it so it could be very overwhelming Aquarius so a time to give rather than take I feel like that's a personal message for you Aquarius give back to yourself harbor in your abundance feel fulfilled feel grounded in the ways that make you feel grounded take time to breathe out there's another message in this deck that says Nothing is yet set in stone, so you have time, Aquarius. So try to catch up in your own pace, in your own timing here. So just take your time, process, reflect whatever it's needed for you to do. And a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So of course, could be someone new making their way towards you. But other than someone specifically, I feel like more harmony, more abundance, more love. Venus is ruled, or Libra is ruled, ruled by venus excuse me so that energy may be coming into your life aquarius but now let's get started on your tarot portion i'll refer back to these messages throughout your reading but we'll move we'll stack these actually but let's go ahead and get started aquarius let's see what energy we have going on for aquarius please when it comes to love what energy do we have for aquarius at this time please Okay, I will take the first card I did see, which was the Three of Swords. Three of Swords, and we also have Queen of Cups. Let's let's take both of these Aquarius. Of course, there will be more yet to come, but we have the Three of Swords, Queen of Cups. Let's clarify this energy. Three of Swords, Queen of Cups for Aquarius. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius. What else do we need to know here, please? Okay, the tower in reverse. So let's go ahead and get started with what we have so far. Three of Swords, Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and the tower in reverse. So Aquarius, 
I do feel like some sort of betrayal, perhaps a third party, something heartbreaking came in the middle of you and this connection. But say this was a person you had ups and downs with or their true color started to reveal. You saw this coming in a sense. You didn't want to believe it. You didn't have you had something to go off of Aquarius. That's your feelings, your intuition, your emotions here. But because quote unquote proof wasn't brought to you, it's like you, you chose to give this the benefit of the doubt. But that Three of Swords energy happened. You felt it and you couldn't pass it up. You couldn't just turn a blind eye to it. It happened in front of you. And I feel like it did cause that shattering effect or that heart heartache emotion. So we have the Three of Swords, but because it was so obvious, it was so apparent, you were feeling that Aquarius, I feel like you started to become more in tune with your feelings, letting it all out, being more empathic towards yourself, nurturing yourself, and that reminds me of a time to give rather than take that Virgo energy. Queen of Cups is Piscean energy, so I feel like you used that heartache to motivate you further, and it may have not came out as motivation but I feel like you chose to feel how you were feeling Aquarius because it was needed it was important for you but ace of pentacles you're you're picking it back up you're starting something new for yourself this could also be that new romantic cycle begins but I feel like you're not going through the past again because the tower in reverse you see things were how they panned out you're putting the pieces together and you're not looking back also, the Tower card in reverse, it reminds me of moving forward, transformation, learning from a situation. So that's all we have so far, Aquarius. Just taking a look, we do have the Knight of Cups at the bottom, but following the Tower in reverse, what else does Aquarius need to be aware of, please, with this energy? We have Justice, Libra energy, a new romantic cycle begins. Justice card for Aquarius, what else do we have? Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Justice. Let's see what else we have going on. We have the Chariot, Cancer Energy. The Chariot for Aquarius. Let's receive one more card, please, for now. Seven of Cups in Reverse Aquarius. So we have Justice, Page of Pentacles, the Chariot, and Seven of Cups in Reverse. So I do feel like things are going to be made even, made fair, but how that's going to come out, Aquarius, is something abundant, something promising coming towards you. I do feel like you'll learn to trust it, of course, take your time here, but you're going to be treated in the way that you deserve, Aquarius, and sometimes with karma, how karma works, we want to get back at someone or let, let them have it, one that could be exhausting and that doesn't mean do one thing or the or the other do what's best for you Aquarius but it could be exhausting so it's like you reserved your power Aquarius but you knew that things were going to be made right and this could be this person wanting you back begging for you back but it's like the truth was unfolded you did what you did there's no going back after that so I feel like you're going to feel like things worked out, things came full circle, and you didn't, sometimes lessons or divine intervention comes in that, comes into play, and you're like, you know what, I'm satisfied with this, I'm happy that this worked out, because I wouldn't have been exposed to this, or I wouldn't have learned this, or this wouldn't have came to me. So I feel like a, se a sequence of events may play out like that, Aquarius, and it'll make you feel like things are... Things are picking up. I'm I'm fine without this person. But other than that, Aquarius, this new person coming in with the Page of Pentacles, the Justice card, showing you that love you truly deserve. And I feel like they're innovative, Aquarius. You like how they're doing things. You like how they're treating you. It may be different from what you're used to. For example, if you were with this past person for some time, but it's like they, they give you insight to what they're into how they do things and I feel like it appeals to you Aquarius you like it and even though it's different it's proving to work 
So that's why we have the chariot here. Someone is ready to come towards you and they're, they're not hesitant about it. They, they see what could be from a mile away here. And they're taking action in Seven of Cups in reverse. And also, when it comes to the past for you, Aquarius, I feel like you're, you're not pondering on the past. You're not fantasizing or getting caught up in the things that have hurt you, the things that may weigh heavy on you. You've processed it. You released it. You're healing from it. So I feel like you're not caught up in what, why did this happen? What could have happened? What if? What, like, what if things were different? It's like, what happened, Aquarius? It happened. You see it. You realize it. You're healing. You're learning from it. But I feel like whatever happened Aquarius the truth that came from it you you see the truth for what it is and you want to stay away from that energy seven of cups in reverse what else do we need to know here for Aquarius please okay we have the three of pentacles five of pentacles Aquarius let's just take both of those three of pentacles five of pentacles let's clarify this five of pentacles energy ten of wands Ten of Wands for Aquarius. One more message, please. One more card, please, for Aquarius. What else? Okay, Aquarius. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Let's just see the bottom of the deck. We have the Ten of Pentacles right here. Queen of Swords. Five of Cups. One more. Two of Swords. Just one more. Two of Cups. So I may touch on the bottom of the deck as I move forward with these last couple cards. But following the Seven of Cups in reverse, uh, let me just move the camera a little bit. We have Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Two of Wands, Aquarius. So this person coming towards you, this new person, Three of Pentacles energy, they want to build with you. They want to collab. They want that teamwork effort. They're putting in, you're putting in. You see the vision. You see the bigger picture of what could be between you two. And the healing process or just healing it can be a bit i don't want to use the word discouraging even though it may feel like that but i'm describing it in that sense because it's like we know what we want to be or we know we want to be in a different better bigger position than we're at now we know we can do it we're believing that we can do it we're trying our best but it takes it takes work it takes progress not everything happens at once so that feeling may hit you, Aquarius, Five of Pentacles, but you you have all the tools to access that door. You have all the resources. You have the power within, and I feel like you're going to do that for yourself, Aquarius. You're making that laborious journey, but you know it's worth it because it'll be eye-opening. More things will come from it. You, you actually may be moving, Aquarius, moving away somewhere, and that packing up stuff, I've heard before, like, moving out is always the hardest part. Moving in is so much smoother. Of course, it varies, but that's how I see it, Aquarius. Ten of Wands, I, I have to pack up my stuff. I have to go. I have to make this journey on my own. But once I get there, I'll be looking out at everything. I'll be able to reflect more on what got me to this position where I'm at right now. And let's just touch on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles... I feel like this could be the outcome between you and this person, but it takes that decision making from your side, Aquarius. Moving forward, Five of Cups, releasing what needs to be let go. Two of Swords, the blindfold could still be on. It may be tempting here, Aquarius, but I feel like you know what you want when it comes to love, and that's Two of Cups. That's merging with someone. That's understanding, mutual appreciation. So yeah, Aquarius, that's what we have. We'll just pull a couple Hidden Truth Oracle cards just in case these messages do resonate for Aquarius, please. Let's see what we have going. We both know I am not the one for you. So like I said, betrayal, true colors coming out. You saw it, Aquarius, when it happened right in front of you. Let's see what else we have for Aquarius. And that is, I do not, or I don't react when people mention you. The after effect Aquarius, you moving forward, pushing forward, not revisiting the past with this person. All right, we'll just take these last two. I wish things could be different. 
last but not least i hid who i really am from you so yeah aquarius unfortunately some someone was maybe wearing a mask but last but not least we have a few signs for my aquarius's first sagittarius scorpio one more sign and cancer all right, Aquarius, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.